winning the Heisman, it would be great. Everyone's out here to prove they're the best. Melvin Gordon with those quick feet and those excellent moves and that breakaway speed. One of the best running backs in the country, perhaps the best. I have some great guys ahead of me, you know, Jameis Winston, uh, Mariota. They got me third or fourth in the Heisman race. That kind of fired me up a little bit, and I just want to prove that I'm, you know, one of the best, not the best player in the nation. Spins away from another goal, fourth rushing touchdown of the day. I truly encourage our kids to compare themselves with others. I think it's an honor and it's a privilege for him to be even talked about when you talk about the best of the best in the Heisman Trophy. He's going to do the extra stuff just to get that much of the edge. He wants that Heisman Trophy so bad, and he deserves it. You know, we feel like he deserves it. He came back for us because a lot of guys would have just left. Kenzel, that's one of my best friends, like my brother. He texts me, you know, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get you this Heisman. You know, just out the blue, you know, seeing that, you're just like, wow. To see my teammates wanting to help me succeed and be great it made me feel good, you know, and I told them, the Heisman is good, man, but winning you this Big Ten championship your senior year, sending you out the right way would mean even more. Coming to Wisconsin had a lot to do with my family. My mom lives uh, in Waterford. Being closer to my mom, you know, I had that support. The distance from here to Madison is probably an hour and 15 minutes. Okay, time to go. I usually go to practice once a week, usually on Wednesdays. To me, Madison is like home for him. When I'm traveling, I just think about the opportunity that they've given Melvin. He's got an opportunity some kids don't get in life. When he look around, he sees me up there. That's been the deal since he's been a kid. It's important to me to be there because he knows that that support, I think that helps him. I'm glad she's here. It's nothing new to me to have her there in the, in the stands watching. Okay. Hold on. A little bit. She never missed a game from Little League to now. She's just been there for me, you know, every step. You tight? Oh, I just want to stay loose with these clothes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was at the house, Mom. It was all right. I know Melvin has tutor after practice. He comes from tutoring at like nine, and so I start cooking about eight. She always cooks for me and my roommates, and you know, I'll probably have Kenzel come through or Devin. What's your mom cooking tonight? They know she's making something. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, Melvin, uh, you know, shoot me that text, you know, when your mom get done cooking. He sent me that text, and I don't even say nothing else. I just say, I'm, I'm coming. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome, baby. Usually, there's about seven or eight. You know, they're all in there, so I don't, I lose track. Okay, y'all can come make your own plate. I love it. It's crazy sometimes, but Melvin is my only child. LeBeau, how does spaghetti taste? Melvin is priority. And if that involves me doing whatever he's doing, I'm cool with that. Okay, babe. Thank you. <laughs> has been stopping the run for Rutgers. It doesn't get any easier today because you've got the second leading rushing team in the country coming in. I think also the, in the passing game, Carew has been the only receiver that's consistently gotten open. Where are the other guys? You know, these guys have to show up and, and have themselves available for whoever is starting quarterback to get them the ball. Nova drops the throw, shoots it down the seam, right side incomplete, wanted Leonte Carew. Noble will go to the shotgun. 
takes the snap, late blitz, Nova shuts it up right for Carew, and it's out of his reach by about three yards. He was double covered downfield, but Rutgers left the punt. And it's blocked by A.J. Jordan, and it goes out of bounds at the 20-yard line of Rutgers. McAvoy takes the snap, he'll give it to Gordon, over the left side, he's to the 10, cutting left, to the 5, to the end zone, touchdown Wisconsin! Melvin Gordon is in for the first time today. I mean, this offense has just been my minute the whole first half. Pressure coming, he gets away for a moment, throws over the middle and it's incomplete, nobody home. Clement, the running back, Clement gets the handoff, he has room to the 40, 35, Clement the 30, 25, 20, he's gone, 10, 5, touchdown Wisconsin, welcome home, Corey Clement. Not much in terms of answers today with the Rutgers offense. Nova makes the handoff, back to throw, looking over the middle, pass intercepted by Trotter at the 50, 45, 40, Trotter to the 35 yard line and taken down. off to Melvin Gordon trying to pick his way off to the left. Now breaks to the right to the 50. He's to the 45 40. 35 30. There goes Melvin. 20 10 5. Touchdown Wisconsin. Melvin Gordon 51 yards to the house. Never got touched. He now has 15 carries, 107 yards, and two scores. Just can't seem to get things going, sustain drives, get on the rhythm. Back to throw Nova under pressure, and this time he just rolled to the turf as he had Schober, he had Marcus Trotter. They were closing the gate. Ha, 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 ha. 